I'm doing, uh, yeah, I'm doing. You're doing. Uh, I'm You're doing. doing good. Yeah. Um, well, thank you all so much for joining. <laughs> Diana cracked a couple of good jokes before <laughs> we started, so I'm trying to contain my laughter. Um, thank you all so much for joining us here at After Hours uh, here at Linda's Electric Quilters. Yes. Um, before we get started, as always, make sure you subscribe to our channel. So it's going to be right down there at the bottom right-hand corner. Yes. After you click on that subscribe button, make sure you click on the little bell that shows up so you can get notified whenever we post new videos or whenever we go live here at After Hours. Yay! Yep, that's what that's for. Kay. All right, now that the business part is done. We got to talk about the <laughs> elephant in the room. There's an elephant in the room. There I is. think we need to talk about it. Okay, yeah. Okay, let's talk. Everyone, I finally got a shirt. Can we talk about that? I'm so excited. It's only been, what, 55 episodes? And I finally got a shirt. She's had a shirt since day one. It's fine. I'm not mad. I got a shirt. Um, so well, now we just decided to make you official. You just didn't know that yet. Uh, yeah, okay. I'll show you. I'll show you official. Anyway, so yeah, we both have shirts. And so it was like, we match. Yay! Yay. Um, so anyway, so tonight we are... We're really excited, and I'm extremely nervous, to do some quilting on a actual sewing machine. So we um, are not really domestic quilters. We've always had the long arms, and so moving the head versus moving the fabric is so different. After this, yeah, I mean, you have to think about it from a art standpoint because well, I have I have no art I have no <laughs> art background, but let's think about it that way. Um, when we are quilting on a long arm, we're used to moving the pin, yeah. for instance. Mm -hmm. Um, but now when we're coming down to a sit down sewing machine, we are now moving the paper. Yes. So it is a little bit of a, it's, intimidating. it's a culture shock. And it, yeah. <laughs> I started thinking about like, wow, these, these domestic quilters are amazing. So Honestly, are, for what y'all can do. I've seen some of the stuff that people have done on a sit down machine. It, it, yeah. Hats off. Yeah. It's like, it, that, that's right next to hand quilting for me. Um, Cause that, I mean, hand quilting of course takes a lot more effort, but yeah. I'm just saying <laughs> the, the way I've grown up and seeing things, it's yeah. easier just to do this to me, but. Yeah. Um, so, anyway, so, so yeah. we're excited to be able to show you that tonight. We've done a little bit of pre-practice, shown how bad I really am. <laughs> so you guys are, if you're not ready to laugh, you should be ready to laugh. This is going to be your comedy hour. Oh yeah, for grab a snack and kick back with this one. <laughs> both of them, honestly, both of them. It's a good one. Um. Anyway, so while you are grabbing that snack and kicking back, we always have a question, Corey. Why do you always point to me like I know the question? You do know You write time. down the question, then you tell me what the question is, and then you have me do 8,000 other things before we go live. I don't remember what the question that's is. That's true, that's true. I know Ooh, the question are is, you I'm a just little bit, Are you a little bit nervous? Why would I be nervous? You're sidestepping. Why would I be nervous? Okay, so how many of you have quilted on a sit-down domestic machine? Um, yeah, whether you still do or not, how many have tried it at least? I can say now that I have tried it for a whole five minutes, and we'll try some more. Well, I did do it in a video long before. Well, there goes our teaching careers. Just <laughs> <laughs> well, for sit down anyway. <clears throat> for sit down, the same. Long arm, yeah. totally different. So, <laughs> anyway, so we're super excited. So, while you're answering that question, if you've ever tried it on a um, domestic actual quilting, not the, the sewing or piecing, but the actual moving of the quilt, I'm just excited to know how like you've tried, uh, how you try to do it. And yeah. So, cool. so what we're doing tonight? What are we doing tonight? So I gotta go get my book. Oh. Left my book over here. Oh, you did. Actually, you left the book, but I'll just say. Oh, I left the, the book. blame game. Anyway. Sounds like so, your brother right now. Basically. <laughs> um, so today we are going to be focused on focusing on the Design with Lines starter kit. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the starter kit comes with a book. It's this white one right here. Mm -hmm. it says Design with Lines on top, and then it comes with four different nine-inch stencils. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be taking a look at three of the four. We'll talk about the fourth one a little bit. Yeah today. Um, but they're all different variations of line distances. Yeah, so and we got a one, one and a half inch, two inch. inch. And then of course our go-to basic eight basic is, eight. is mm -hmm. in that uh, sample pack, or excuse me, in the starter kit. So and this is made for everybody. This is for domestic machines, book was upside long down. arm, mid arm. This little kit can be used on any of the machines for seriously. Correct. Yeah. Um, so it takes you through some really good, as we've simple. looked at here at After Hours, some really good simple basic um, designs using the basic eight and then also doing the straight lines, which is what you'll see us do tonight. Yeah. So we actually had um, my mom piece out a table runner because we were thinking the holidays are coming up, Thanksgiving, that'd be great. Oh, yeah. Right? yeah, let's let's make memories with the table runner on the <laughs> Thanksgiving table when all the family from all over the country comes together. It'll be great. And shows, we show them what we do for a living <laughs> and they go, really? <laughs> Mm, okay. All right. So, so we took a junior uh, jelly roll that we sell here. We have all different kinds, but this is the one we took, the well, autumn one. Let's put a pin in that. How many oh. of you heard of a junior jelly roll? 
Let's yeah. be real. I never heard of it before <laughs> until she ordered them and they came in. I know. I'd never like, seen wow, it. Wow, that's super small. It's a smaller one. So it's called a Junior Jelly Roll. Uh -huh. And it has, what, they're two and a half inch strips. And it had 22? It right around 20, 22. Yeah, 20, something like that. Yeah. Um, and this is the, these are grunge variations, yeah, aren't they? Are yeah, grunge. Um, and so we were able to, anyway, continue your story. Anyway, so we, we pieced up a, a full table runner that's about 94, 95 inches long. So it could fit on the Perfect. Thanksgiving table. Shout out to Grandma. Thank you, Grandma. Yeah, thank you for piecing that really fast for us. Um, and then we're using the Omni Variegated Autumn Thread, which is 9150. So we're super excited to show you what we're going to do. Already? I think we should just jump on over. Uh, no, there's one more thing that we're using. Oh, 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 oh that's right. That's okay, right. There's, there's one more thing. This is a big one. This uh, is a biggie. Yes. Um, so in between our, our quilt sandwich, we are normally using batting. You've seen us use it um, quite a few times here at After Hours. Yep. But today, since we're doing sit-down quilting on our domestic sewing machines, we are using the Hobbs Heirloom 8020 fusible, fusible. batting. Yes. Um, and so if you want to learn a little bit more about battings in general, make sure you watch our After Hours interview with Stephanie Hackney yeah. um, from Hobbs, where she explained all of their battings. Yeah. But this one in general has a little bit of a tacky... Yeah. Um, heat activated glue Correct. on both sides mm -hmm. so we were able to lay the table runner on top of the batting yep. on top of the fusible batting and then the batting on top of the back and you'll see it over there when we get over there correct yeah um, and then we took our iron and ironed it down and it keeps it in place so what that really does is that allows you not to have to use all those pins Pins, that you or use, that smelly basting spray. or that basting spray that sometimes yeah. can get really extra stuck. Um, this is a water soluble glue, so yep. once you wash it the first time, mm -hmm. it just feels like a normal 8020 after that on the inside, which is really nice. That's right. All right, you're up first. Am well, I really? Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah. All well, right. Just, we're going to jump over to the machine. We're going to have fun. Like I said, I hope you're ready to laugh, at least when I sit down for sure. Um, but I'm ready to laugh. You, are you ready to laugh at, at me? I know it myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're definitely ready to have some fun, and we hope you are too. Okay, so we are over here at our sewing machine, and this is that simple jelly roll table runner that we have put in. And I am going to be doing this bottom. Let me kind of roll this up a little bit so you can see it. This bottom strip right here. And the first design, what am I going to be doing? You uh, are going to be doing hearts, and it's actually on page 21 of that book. So hearts you can show them on what one page doing. 21. Well, let me open the book, and let's take a look, sees at that design. So we said page 21. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! Okay, so I'm going to just move this under the foot a little bit so you all can see what I'm working with. So I'm going to be working on these hearts right here. And as you've seen throughout our designs with lines series here at after hours um, this kind of shows you those basic um, arrow cutouts of how we are going to be following with our machine and then this is using the straight line stencil so which lovely straight line stencil have you given me tonight for my first one um so your first one you're going to use is you're going to use the one inch oh i get to use the one inch okay yep <laughs> book is not staying still. Okay, there we'll we go. There. Okay. <laughs> I'm used to having a little bit more space. Okay, so one inch it is. All right. So I've got my stencil right here. Now I'm going to pull this back a little bit so I don't have to be right underneath the foot, but just so y'all can still see what I'm doing. There we go. And I am lining up this stencil just so I know it's staying straight. I'm lining up the top of the stencil with a seam line in this jelly roll quilt uh, in this table runner. So I'm going a little further. But I'm going to line it up with that next seam line right there. And I'll take it all the way to the end since we're only doing this little section. Yeah. And I'm going to take my pounce powder, good old pounce powder, and run it across that stencil. Just like so. Move the stencil away and bam, there it is. There you go. Love that. And then we have been looking a lot at using chalk pencils here at After Hours, which is one of my favorite things to do. So I want to show you, just by chalking it out, I'm going to take my chalk pencil, and I'll start probably right about here, and we're going to go up and curl it down, and I'm pressing really hard on this fabric, my bad, there we go, and up and down, basically like backwards, kind of like S-hooks, just like that, all the way. Oh, and we'll do that all the way down. Alrighty. Okay, 
So, hmm, I guess hmm, that's going to be great. We, we, we have, but while you're getting ready, we learned a few tips for this being our first time really doing this. Like, you know, is that we need a bigger slider. Yeah. We got a tiny slider. A little baby <laughs> slider right here. <laughs> the bigger the slider, the better. And then we got these little grip gloves to try. So, and that seemed to ha kind of help too. Yeah, it All definitely right. helps you move things around. All right, so I'm just pulling up my thread real quick. I have the long arm, long armor in me. I'm loving everybody's answers here. What Corey's getting ready. Lots of mid-arm, such arm things that everybody's tried. People from all over watching. Woohoo! Alright, there we go. Get my thread out. Alright, and I'm using that Omni Variegated so y'all really get to see if I do a good job or not. Of course, the family will get to see it too. <laughs> Alright, foot down. Well, we need something to talk about. Oh, we got tons <laughs> of stuff to talk about. It's 2020. Plenty That's to talk fair. about. All right, so here we, oh gosh, why do I have to be the first one to do this? All right, <laughs> here we go. So I am just using my chalk lines and those nice stencil spacings. And just slowly moving that fabric around. So concentrated on this one. <laughs> I know. You're doing great. You're like a natural there. Okay, I'm gonna readjust my hands. Ooh, let's see my fingers there. And just using that. I love having these little stencil chalk lines to be able to give me an idea of where I'm going. All right, there, there go. you go. Let's cut it. Cut and it and then move on to the next one. So you got I think that's so cute. You did. So then I can you know this chalk comes off multiple different ways. I'll brush it off so you can see it a little easier. Um, but that was that first one and then give that very good I think that looks cute. All right, so the next thing you're going to do is ribbon candy. Wait, I'm doing another one? Yeah, we're going to put you on the next one. You're oh going to use a two-inch stencil. Okay, so the two-inch And then I'll, we'll switch over to me so after you do this okay. one. Um, so ribbon candy is not in the book. This is something that we're just kind of throwing in for you. Yeah, we'll have a couple we're going to throw in. Yeah, there's a few we just thought we'd just toss in real quick. So okay. Basically, it's showing you that there's lots of great ideas in the book, so your, your ideas are great, too. For sure. So let's take lovely pounce powder. And just pounce across that next line that we're working with, and bam, there's that. And I'm doing, you said ribbon candy, okay. Mm -hmm. So I'll grab my chalk pencil just to give you an idea of where I'm headed. I'll be going like this. I know it's harder to see, but you'll see it when it's quilted out. Getting to this bottom point here and then going upwards. So do you know where you set your stitches at? Your stitch length? Uh, no. I'm sure I could probably figure it out. Um, yeah. My stitch length. Well, I mean, I don't have a stitch regulator on here, and yeah, so I'm just so moving at whatever speed. That's what they were asking, the stitch regulator. Oh, right? yeah, no, I don't have a stitch regulator on here. This is just moving at whatever speed I yeah, see. Yeah, this is just a basic sit-down illness. Yep, it's a normal sewing machine. All right. Start with the needle down, and here we let me trim this off. You know how I'm about my threads. Oh gosh, here we go. So we're just going back and forth. I love that design. It's such a cute, easy design to do. Right, it adds a little yeah. bit of texture, but it's it super some simple. Texture, yeah. Yeah. So. And it's fast, too, honestly. Once you have those markings spaced out for you on what, what, how you want to do it, it's so quick. Mm, my 
ribbon candies are really flying in the wind. <laughs> and we didn't, you know, stabilize the quilt or put stitches down to secure it because we used a fusible to keep it in place. Right. So that's just how well the fusible batting is keeping it in place for us right now. Um, but definitely you could secure it all the way around and do all the things that you're used to doing. Yeah. We're just like doing that. quick little samples. All right, so my turn. Yay, not yay. Ah, you got this. Yay, not yay. <laughs> you have got this. All right, All right so what do I'm you gonna get to be do? doing clamshell, and mine's gonna be on page 20, and I'm trying to remember what pencil I'm using. One and a half. Can you hand me the count plotter? Yeah, for sure. All righty. So here we go. So I'm gonna do the clamshell here, and I'm just gonna do one since we have such a thin two-inch block, uh, two-inch strip. Mm -hmm. Um, so we're going to put that over here and then I'm going to pounce out, I'll bring it down, I'm going to make sure my um, label is down, put it down all the way, yep, there, line it up like Corey was doing up there. Okay. All righty. Oh, I'm really nervous about this. You got this. I think one thing worth mentioning while you're getting setting up, uh, one thing we forgot to mention, we do have the feed dogs down on this. They are not up. The feed dogs are down, which allows us to do that free motion quilting. Okay. So I am going to do, I'm going to go ahead and draw. Really simple, over here, back up to the center, down, back up to the center, and down. Well, I'm not actually not very doing very much, am I? So, okay, this should be not too, too bad. No, it looks good to me. Should I echo it? Either that or you could do everything, then you could start here and go that That's way. That's what I was, yeah, yeah. thank you. Mm -hmm. It'd be cool. And then I have to come back over here. There we go. All righty, so I'm gonna put these gloves on real quick. We've had a few people ask what the gloves are. Um, Corey, do you wanna explain them? We don't really have them. You get them, on, get them online. We have like one pair left and that's about it, but they're really cool. Yeah, they just have a little uh, grippy side on the back yeah, hand so any portion gloves. of it that just allows you to move it a little easier um, and kind of have more grip on the fabric when you do so. Yeah. Okay. Here goes nothing, folks. So we're gonna first have you start by bringing up your thread. Okay. Is this down for me already? Oh, no, see, I remembered. <laughs> there you go. And then, am I supposed to bring my thread up before? Mm -hmm. Got it? There you go. Yeah, I'm just. Don't be nervous, don't be nervous, don't be nervous. Remember, I just want to remind everybody, like, we're, I'm a beginner with you, so. Oh, yeah, we are, we're not claiming we to be professionals We are not claiming to be professionals one. on these, on these <laughs> sit-downs. These are just having fun showing you that you, you can use some of these tools on your sit-down as well. Okay, you think I'm ready? I think so. Back down to there. And then. <laughs> Getting a little, little trigger happy here. You know what that foot pedal? No, no. Oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling the machine to stop. <laughs> well, I'm thinking it needs to this have. This isn't Siri. It's not um, going to listen to you. Okay, I had to slow down there. Okay, so what did I say I was going to do next? Then you're basically going every other one. Oh, so, so if I you cut? want to, you could cut or just jump and we can cut it later. So just lift up your hopping foot, pull over to that next piece. The needle's down. No, we'll pull up the needle. That's in a needle button. Needle up. Nope, needle up. When you take there, yeah, go. So jump over. Oh, I see what you're saying. And then okay. drop the needle down. I'm gonna, there you go. I am going to be a mini pro when this is done. Oh, okay. Mini pro. <laughs> Not major pro, mini pro. A mini pro. 
Okay, so I can start like this? Yep. And we'll just trim those jump stitches later. Oh. Do I, oh, do I have to turn that off first? There we go. No, because you have it on reverse. Yeah, so I just have it see. on. Okay. I was telling Cory, I think that these machines, these pedals should have like uh, speed controls, right? Yeah. So like you could go into first gear and second gear. All righty. Okay. So then I'm just going to cut it. Yep. Because especially when you're cool. new like me. And then. Just pull it out and. Oh, that looks kind of cool. That's actually not that bad. Looks like boulders. Boulders. Or little rocks. Oh, I think they're the cool. Mountain. That's what we're doing. Go on to the mountain. What's that? Run. She's in. I can't remember the song. Okay, let's, She's let's go. Right no. Nope. No. Nope. If you there say that goes. to me, we got to pay for it. Nope. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> All right. So, what's my next one for you? All right. So, the next one you are working on is going to be E's and L's. E's and L's. So, yep. what stencil am so I So, you're using? doing the one inch stencil on that one. Okay. I need the pounce. And here's your pounce powder. Then, there we go. We'll line that up. I like having the different different stencils so you can kind of just try the different sizes. So you can just yeah, try all, different it, things. I mean, it gives you a good bit of density when you're trying to you know morph or kind of move around the patterns. Um, you know, kind of give it a little bit of you know spacing between those designs. That'll really help you. Yeah. So this is what I'm going to attempt right there. The E's and L's. Yeah. The E's and L's. So you want to grab your chalk pencil and kind of mark it out? Yeah, or? that's a good idea. Okay. Um. Let's do chalk pencil. All righty. So I like having the chalk pencil to be able to mark things out. So that I first like one will the, be an E. I like having the book with the pattern too. I could, you know how to do this one. The first one starts with this. You're starting at the seam line. You're going to start with a little bit of an E. So you're just doing an E, which is a small one. Oh, okay. And then yeah. you go up for an L. Then an E. And then an L. Yeah, when you Perfect. say it like that, I was thinking like loops. E and just trying and to get that loops. L. E and then L. That's great. It's kind of hard to see, though. Yeah. All right, here we go. All right, we're going to go down here. Pull up my thread. Uh -huh. Perfect. Back over here. Put my pin is it my put down and off to the races. You're taking my line. E up to the top here. L back down. E up here. L E L. We're climbing a mountain. <laughs> the E's and L's are hiking. The E's and L's are hiking. That's a good way to put it. <laughs> the E's and L's are hiking. Summer is over there dying <laughs> at the commentary. <laughs> I think for your first time doing this, you're doing a great job. <sighs> and that's not sarcasm. No. I, it's actually, I'm feeling a little more confident right now than I was when I was practicing, so that's good. Well, that's always good. Just tells you, if they saw the practice piece, they'd be like, whoo, she's improved 10,000%. <laughs> Which tells you, practice, 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 practice. I just feel like singing today. I'm in the singing mood. Okay, well. <laughs> okay, so now there's our E's and L's. I think that looks really cool. What? what? That looks really good. All righty, Corey, you're next. I was All having right. fun, though. I can see that. You can keep yeah. going if you'd like. You look like you're having a blast over here. What, what? And singing and all sorts of fun stuff. All right. Well, I think uh, because the next one is crosshatch, that you are the right one to be down there. So, okay. So, crosshatch, it's page 22. We'll just want to show them a quick. Obviously, they probably know what crosshatch mean, is, but it's, it's kind of fun to see it in the book. Yeah, a little bit of a crosshatch diamond look, depending on how you want to take it. Chicken wire. Chicken, chicken, chicken wire. It's kind of just the idea. You are in a, such a mood right now. I can't even. All right. All right. So we're just going in with some simple um, diamonds or a little bit of a crosshatch border here. Yep. Um, just something really nice, simple, easy to do. 
Um, and we're going to be doing that with the... <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> You're just funny. Oh, okay. Thanks. <laughs> um, um, the, okay, now I'm self-conscious. You're over here making fun of me. Um, all right. So I'm going to take my pounce powder. I'm doing the one and a half inch stencil here. Uh, just have a little bit of a wider gap on those. Lining up that stencil line with my seam line to get it as you know physically straight as I can possible. And just take that, get myself a little brush, and bam, it gives me those. Kind of erase your lines from previous. That'll confuse me. <laughs> and then I'm just going from point to point, basically. So I'll starting up here, and I'm going to come straight down to that point, up, down, up, down, and up. And then I can travel in the excuse me, oh sorry, travel in the seam line here, and then travel back the other way. Whee, just like that. So, Kay, I actually did try the speed disconnect. I do have that on this machine, but I couldn't get my hands up fast enough to hit the stop button. I oh, just <laughs> your button here to start and yeah. stop it? Yeah. So, yeah, she is right. It is easier that way. It's just I just couldn't make my hands go up fast enough. I think when you get practice, used to yeah, practicing practice. and moving on and using that button a lot, yeah. then you'll come to it. I like con having control of the machine with my foot. So. All the yeah. technology. I remember watching your, your grandmother do this, and there wasn't any of this technology. Okay, well, let's okay. start here and see <laughs> how this is going to look. Here we go. So I get to a point, 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 and change my hands. Oh, I'm moving a little fast. I'm going to increase my speed. One point. One point. And then I'm going to travel down this, the seam line here. That's oh, going to be in our good. binding. And then I'll head back the other way. One point. 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 And a little bit of a slowdown here and then we're going to hit it with a point and I'll come up to this line did I break my thread I did I was going too fast <laughs> I got excited yeah broke my thread it happens no big deal can fix that easily that looks really good though I like how they had the cross that I just it's funny how the lines, just the simple pounce powder lines can help guide you in the right direction that easy. Yeah, just, I mean, it kind of just gives you another way to look at it, honestly. Yeah. So many good tips on here. Lots of people giving really good tips. I can't wait to go back and read them some more because I think that I want to try this some more. This has been fun. Yeah, for sure. I think it's going to really be fun. I got myself in a little bit of a bind here, but that happens. It's all right. There we go. Woohoo. All right myself a few stitches to secure that and I'll tie and bury those later all right a little. And woohoo finish that Yay. Look at that. trim those off looks good awesome looks well, let's show them that and then we can jump on to the next one. Oh, that actually looks pretty good yeah that's not Yay. bad we got some cute stuff going on go team all right Who's next? All right, you're actually next, and you are doing feathers. Okay, I think and Summer should come do that. <laughs> you're doing feathers on the two-inch stencil. On the two-inch stencil, okay. Yep. Well, gra let's grab the two-inch stencil and let's pounce it away and see what I can, what I can cause what in here. What you can come up with? Yeah, okay. Because this is not, this is one that's not in the book. Again, just a little more creativity for you. Giving you some design ideas for simple sashings or for any type of jelly roll thing you got going on. There we go. So what I am going to do is I'll start here and I'm going to use these lines as the center stem per se uh, for my feather. So I will let's fix this. I pulled a lot of thread up when I was grabbing my pencil. <laughs> All over the place. There we go. All right. So I'm going to take my chalk pencil, and the way I'm basically going to map this out, we'll start on this one so I have an in, uh, a line here to stop. This is like my other chalk line, let's say. 
I'm going to take this, and the, since this is kind of the center line of my feathers, I kind of also want to find a center point where those petals are going to end up meeting. Um, so what I mean by that is I'm going to take this over here and feather back. So I'm kind of stopping about halfway so those plumes of that feather will end up meeting up. So I'll go there, there. So three plumes up, and then we get to do it the opposite way, three plumes down. And then once you get to that bottom point, you're doing stitch in the ditch along that seam line, and then you're going up, and then meeting as, you know, as best as you can those petals back together, those plumes back together. Um, really simple uh, three plume feather, both up, both down, kind of gives your sashing and your jelly roll quilt just a little bit of a different look. So we will start this up. So let me pull up my thread. Uh, let's see if I can get it where it runs away. Woohoo! And then I'll get this. And there we go. Needle down. Remove my threads out of the way. And let's get this show on the road. Alrighty. Alright, so let's start it up with my foot. And start making. So one, two, Three, and then we're going to go the other way. Two, three, and then we're going to travel down that seam line, just like that. And then we're going to start it back going this way. One, two, three. Definitely a little different going backwards on this machine. <laughs> <laughs> Back down our seam line again, doing our stitch in the ditch, and then going up. Two, three, and then going backwards. One, two, three. Travel over my seam line for my last one. Go with that. <laughs> oh, they do though. They look it's good. It's a little something, um, but it was you know something really easy and nice to have those lines to follow in between um, when I'm making my feathers, broccoli, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, looks good. It's something. Okay, what's next? Are you next? Uh, well, you can do meandering, um, or I can step down and do figure eights. It's whatever you want to do. Uh, we can do meandering real quick. Okay. That'd be simple. Knock it out of the way. So this one doesn't require any um, stencil lines at all. This is just kind of showing you a simple, easy way to do meandering. Mm -hmm. uh, there's only a few rules when it comes to doing a meander. Uh, you don't want to have any points. You don't want those points to. I'm sorry. Excuse me. You don't want to have any points. You don't want to have the lines cross over each other, and you don't want to get into a pattern where it's really easy to find out what's going on. The, the great thing about meandering is it kind of keeps the eye wandering and trying to see what's going on. And for this one, I think I'm going to disengage the foot pedal. Oh, this will oh, be yeah. fun. Turn yeah. on the speed. Turn on some speed. All righty. And start up with my, oh gosh, why did I do this? Okay, <laughs> here we go. So I put my needle down and I'll press my start button and um, I'll let my machine do the stitching, I'll just move the fabric as fast as I can. <laughs> So just really simple, easy, you know, I want to come up here and throw in a loop and then make my way back. Right. Thank you. <laughs> Slow it down just a little bit. I was a speed speeding a little too fast for me, from too close for comfort. So just coming in and taking that and going in and moving around, all about just having that simple, easy flow here. Well, that looks good. 
not too bad. Only had one little little, little mistake, but that's okay. All right. Um, but overall, it looks really good. Just something really easy filling up that space. If you were doing this on a larger section, you could, of course, move the quilt all over the place. Um, and it would really, really look super nice. Um, and kind of once you get in that flow of moving, you basically become your own stitch regulator at that point if you don't have one, which is pretty nice. All right. What are you doing next? Uh, I think for your I'm last just going to do final some one. little quick figure eights. And I'm, okay. I think I might try them on the one inch because we only, only need that once. Okay. Right. Do you want me to stitch down the sides for you real yeah, quick? Yeah, that'd be I awesome. I think I'm, we're losing a little bit of our tack yeah. real quick. We've been throwing this thing all over the place today. <laughs> So let me pull this up. Let me stitch down the sides for you real quick because we have something. It's easy to follow. Been, things have been all over the office, all over the warehouse, all over the place. Yeah, Everyone's been able have. to see it. So, <laughs> so I decided to do something simple. Simple. Real quick, just to give you a little something. Nothing too perfect by any means. Just give you a little something, something. Hopefully, this doesn't mess up your design. <laughs> no. I'm I can't to it. imagine anything can mess up my design. I'm adding <laughs> to it. Looks great. Looks great. Look at that. It wanted to be stitched down. Look yes, at that. It did. Just think, we have the whole table runner to go. Yay! Not on the video. Not though. on the video, though. <laughs> <laughs> but just as long as we have it finished by Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh, that gives us some time. Yes, it does. All right, I put your foot pedal back on for you. All righty. So you have that. All right, so I'm going to do. Right here, these little figure eights, just really something simple to end it off. Lots of fun, easy designs in this book. So I think that's why it's a starter book. Yes. Um, and then I'm going to do my little pouncy, my pouncy pounce. Got that on there with the one inch stencil. These can be bought in the kit, but they also can be bought individually as well. So, okay. Let me squeeze it up here. Well, let me kind of draw it out just to get started, though. For sure. Where's my uh, pencil? All right, so I'm going to do the loop in here. Show me the, show me the pattern again. I want to make sure oh, I do it the right way. For sure. Um, you are on page 19. So your top loop or your your bottom loop, excuse me, uh -huh. is going to meet the line, your chalk uh, pounce line, and then your top loop is going to be in the center of them. So start at the up here. Start kind of in the middle, actually. Mm -hmm. Can come down like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then go back and up. And then that one's going to be in the center. Yep. That one's going to be down at the area. You go. Yep. Yeah. It's funny how you just need the picture to get yourself going. Isn't that weird? A simple figure eight, and I still needed the picture. Hey, it happens. That's because I'm getting old, too. <laughs> oh, the memory. All right, so I'm going to pull up my thread real quick. Hope you guys are having fun with us. Just a reminder, we are not professionals at this part of it, so there are so many tips you guys are giving that are awesome. I'm glad you're helping each other out. We're just here to kind of show you different ideas that we've come across and how to have fun with it, too. Okay, are we ready? Mm-hmm. Oh, did I push the <laughs> did I push the pedal too far for you? That's Sorry. Okay. You're tall. <laughs> I'm short. No, oh, I didn't even put the gloves on. Oh yeah, I'm still wearing them. I love this fashion accessory. I'm going to brunch this weekend. I think I might wear them out. <laughs> See what the people think. I'll be on trend. Watch. Everyone's going to follow me on Twitter. There you go. They're going to go, what are those? Yeah, the Twitter I don't use, but everyone's going to follow me on Twitter. <laughs> I only use Twitter for Summer because she sends me funny stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Uh, I got lost right there. We're going to call it a day. <laughs> Sometimes you that's lose your for, way. That's what I get for talking about Twitter. I know. You just lose your way. <laughs> But it looks great because it's at the end. It does look really good. That's at the end. It'll be all in the binding all right. anyway. We should go over there and show them what we're actually going to be making, and then we'll show it when it's finished. Okay. I like that. I think I it looks think, great. You know, let's just go back over our little little contraption here. All righty. So okay. we've got the hearts. Very simple. Ribbon candy. Double clamshell. Or boulders. Or boulders. <laughs> the E's and L's. 
crosshatch, poised broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> the shade <laughs> of it all. Um, Summer is on the floor right now <laughs> laughing so hard. Meandering. She's happy she came back to work tonight. And then my figure eight. So. Ooh, yeah, your figure eight, so you got lost on. I did. Boom. <laughs> I did. I lost my way there. But you know what? You lose your way, you find your way back. That's you do, important. you do. Um, so that's just the little portion that we were working on. It's going to end up rolling all the way out yeah. and be one big, huge. Table runner don't, for don't, the. Don't, don't look at the practice piece that's <laughs> over there. Uh, but one huge table runner uh, for the but, table. Yeah, so I mean, so we're going to finish this off before Thanksgiving, and then we'll post a picture on the community page on YouTube. Yes, of YouTube, yeah. Um, but I mean, that, this little thing right here Made all that. did all that. So I thought that was cool. We wanted to test that out, too, Yeah. to see what we could get out of it. Go team. Oh, super fun. Awesome. All righty. So, um, overall, I don't know. What do you think? I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, I did. No, yeah. that really was fun. I yeah. think we're going to have to come up with some other fun stuff. We're going to look and read your tips that you have so that way we can learn to use the machine a little bit better because I want to learn this technique. I think it's great. I mean, you have yeah. one of those at your house. You might as well. That's very true. Out and start working on it. That's true. Okay. So, some other ideas if you are looking to do uh, strip quilts or things like this, like straight lines. Yes. There are two other books that give some good ideas in case you have the starter kit or you just want more advanced ideas. The straight line books, which we did a video on, so you could search that and look back at that. And then the borderline books, which we also did a video on, mm -hmm. you can search back and look at those and see if you're interested in learning some of those ideas. Yeah, so you can cool. kind of take those to the same idea for your free. I mean, any of these things that we're doing throughout our After Hours Pam Clark uh, Designs with Lines series it's free motion. is free motion. I mean, that's how she started all of this. Before yeah. she had a long arm, she did it all on her sit-down machine. Exactly. So it, it works both ways. Exactly. She um, made it Which that is really way. cool. Yeah. So, and for the books, we do have a discount code available for you. So the website's going to be in there with the discount code. Now, that is just for the books only that we have, but there's tons of books. And, Corey, let's talk about what we're going to do next week. We're so, going to branch off of this a little bit. Yeah, so we're kind of going to branch off on the same idea. Um, I don't know if we're going to be on a sit-down machine. I don't know. I might <laughs> want to go back to my long arm, but that's just me. Um, we will be doing these border stencils. Yeah. Um, and there are six of them yeah. in the series, basically, and they're all sold individually. Um, but there are so many cool different ones. We're going to show you how to link them all up yeah. and to work through either your borders, your sashings, um, so what have you. it's kind of like using, in essence, a tear-away pantograph, but you're not having to tear it away. You're going to use counts instead. Yeah, you don't have to tear it away. You don't have to pick it out. You don't have to pick it out, do anything. You can you use it over and over again. Exactly. Use it over and over again. So it's going to be fun to show that. Um, okay. So do we have any questions? That I, don't, I think we answered most everything. Think, most yeah. people are just helping each other, just kind of having awesome. fun with us. So yeah. yay. Okay. I think so. I think we I think got it. Great. I think that was a good one tonight. <laughs> um, thank you all so much for joining us. Uh, we yes. will see you next Thursday, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, here at After Hours. All right. See, see you ya. next time. Bye. Bye.